Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I want to thank those who are responsible for inviting me here today. And I want to thank Mickey Mouse Ronald Reagan. Doug Rafferty and Big Mama Unra for making it possible. I'm pleased to be here in the pig pen of Sacramento today. This is the pig pen where the racists and the oppressors plot their genocide and their crimes against the people. Someone told me that uh, when Ronald Reagan entered the Capitol here, they changed the name of the Capitol to the Ferry Building. <laughs> I think that's very appropriate. I want to congratulate whoever that was that came up with that thought. And I have a special little word for Ronald Reagan in the morning. Fuck you, Ronnie Baby. Yeah! I believe that Ronald Reagan is a punk, a sissy, and a coward, and I challenge him to a duel. I challenge the punk to a duel to the death, and he can choose his own weapons. Could be a, a gun, a knife, or a marshmallow, and I'll beat him to death with a marshmallow. You know, I lived in this area for a number of years. Folsom Prison is about 20 miles from here, I understand. <laughs> and I had occasion, I had reason uh, to keep my eye on what was going on in Sacramento. The prison system, the adult authority, had this headquarters here in Sacramento, appropriately here in the pig pen. I know that my parole officer has his comrades here today, his agents here, same thing for Ron Regan, same thing for the adult authority, the same thing for all the wardens of all the prisons, all the pigs, the hogs who patrol the prisons. Fuck you, you dig it? I feel it's necessary to say that. It's necessary to say that because pigs of the power structure, or we're gonna have to turn that pressure around. And, and I reiterate that challenge and I will allow him to choose his own weapon. Choose anything. He can choose anything from a gun, a knife, to a baseball bat, and he can choose a marshmallow, and I'll beat him to death with that. Shut you away from the regular channels, when they lock the doors, when they don't let you into the buildings, you have no other recourse but to take it to the streets or to the plaza. Even the property that they have, these big fat businessmen who sit on the border region, that doesn't belong to them either. They just don't know that yet. We didn't want to come up here and talk about uh, hanging Regan. We don't want to hang that punk. I want to challenge him to a duel, and I want him to accept it. There's no more middle ground, because the black liberation struggle in this when the racists shot Martin Luther King, the bullet that killed him killed nonviolence. This only means that black people have reached the point where they're saying, no more, no more. If you shoot me, I'm shooting back. If you put your stick upside my head, I'm going to put something upside your head that they sent down to enforce the edicts, the laws, the rules, and the regulations for this larger prison outside the walls of Folsom Prison. If it was not for the policeman with his gun, with his club, with this gas chamber ultimately backing all that up, who would have any terror? Who would have any respect for these vicious laws that are written on the books here in the pig pen of Sacramento? Ball-headed faggots in the legislature and the state senate, all of their rules would be nothing but toilet paper if it were not for the fact that they have these racist Gestapo police forces 
to send in to brutalize the people and to force them to go along with those programs. But something has happened to change all of that. The Minister of Defense of the Black Panther Party, Brother Huey P. Newton, who has recently been railroaded through the courts of Alameda County, now in prison, that you wound the tender ears of the people, particularly uh, the Gentile, middle-class American white people. Well, I say this, that the term motherfucker is a legitimate term. Every father does that, but that's not the point. <laughs> that's not the point, see? see? We, we could talk about you dirty mother intercourser. You know, <laughs> People say that, but it doesn't. It doesn't have the impact. It doesn't have the little pungent punch that I did. See, but see, the term, the term has a history, and I think this needs to be understood. I don't think that black people need to be ashamed when they use the term motherfucker, because what that does, that refers to history. It means that black people have been subjected, because of the experience of slavery, to a matriarchal form of the family that in the family that we've had here, the mother became the central figure because the father was sold here, sold there, run here, run there, and oftentimes split because he couldn't deal with the shit. So the mother became the central figure. She became the object of veneration. So that the worst thing that a person could do was commit incest and have uh, sex or carnal knowledge of his own mother. So this is meant to be a profound put down and when a brother really wants to put his, another cat down, he inflicts that upon him and calls him a practitioner of incest. That's all. Right. <laughs> a dishonor, a dishonor of the head of the family. Uh, in your various ethnic divisions and around the world, because to control this capitalistic system, they were saying that what you do is alienate the moderate white people. But I noticed when they went to uh, Chicago to try to support their candidate, a man who had taken a courageous stand within certain limitations against the war in Vietnam, when they went to Chicago to support him, Mayor Daley taking his orders from Meathead Humphrey, you can't afford to talk to the members of your graduating class. My name is Five Mualam Ak and I'm the founder of the Incarcerated Nation Corps a collective of post-incarcerated leaders that all work to end mass incarceration, more specifically, alternative to incarcerations for youth. We spend about $8 billion a year incarcerating youth for crimes that aren't even crimes. These youth are our future and literally the next generation in this country. We need to end that now and raise the age of criminal responsibility.